Hey, hey, Tebes, it's Taya. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna hop right into the video. We are going to be taking a look at some makeup products that were sent over to me by Merit Beauty. I am so excited to try out these products. If you wanna see how they work for me, keep on watching. These products came in the cutest little makeup bag. Very, very high quality bag. It's super nice. And inside is all of the products that they sent over to me. I'm going to show you each of the products and then we're just going to do a little demo of the products. So this is called the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. They sent over their blending brush, their voluminizing pomade for your brows, their clean lash, which is their lengthening mascara, one of their blushes. So this is called Flush Balm. It's a cheek color. And the last product that I have is their tinted lip oil. Okay, so this is the card that came with my package from Merit Beauty. So I'm just going to read what the card says. We'll give you a little bit of background and information about the brand itself. Beauty and self-care have reached a fever pitch, a saturated market with products coming out every few days, palettes with 50 colors when we only use two, and more and more additions to the list of what it takes to look good. This year we've reset. We've learned we don't need much. We're accustomed to bare nails. Hello. <laughs> We're accustomed to bare nails, natural hair, not so much, and days without makeup. We're indulging in comfort and minimalism and brands that bring us more with less. We all know that this is true. Well, I don't know about you, but I know it's true for me. Since I've been remote, I really like to keep it super simple. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and pull out these products and take a look. Okay, so I do have a bare face that I'm starting with right now. I have nothing on my face but my Olay moisturizer. And um, as you can see, I do have some dark spots on my cheeks. I also have some um, darkness around my mouth and then my under eye circles, which you can see here. So that's really what I'm trying to cover up. We're gonna take the complexion stick first. This is their perfecting complexion stick. It's called the Minimalist and I got it in the shade Amber. It says on it that it's not a foundation or a concealer, it's both. So this is supposed to be what you can use to cover up those blemishes on your face without having a full face of foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really like the packaging, very simple, but still really nice. The shade that I got this complexion stick in is amber. It's really hard, I feel, to pick out your complexion products online so i took my best guess based off of the swatches on the website um and amber looked like it would work for me so hopefully it does so i am going to just start kind of swiping this onto my face i've got my mirror here in front of me so i'm just gonna do a little something something oh wow so far this looks like a pretty perfect color match that's pretty crazy it's very smooth it just glides right on I'm really not trying to cover up too much I want to start off kind of light and then build it up um, if I need to this is the brush that they sent over this is their blending brush so I am just going to use this to blend in the product on my cheeks this is nice. It's it's not too dense and not too fluffy. This is what it looks like when it's all blended out. In the mirror, to me, it looks like the color is a pretty perfect match. And I really like the fact that it kind of just disappeared into my face. It all looks pretty, pretty seamless, pretty seamless and very natural. Just do a little bit more. I may be going overboard and putting too much. This is really nice, very natural. Okay, so this is what the complexion stick looks like on my face. And I'm just gonna give you a look at each side. 
So the next product that I am going to try out is their Flush Bomb. And I got this Flush Bomb in the color Mood. This is what the packaging is looking like on the blush. And the color that I got looks like this. It is a pretty deep color. So we can see what kind of color payoff we're gonna have with this. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this product and just kind of tap it on my cheeks here. Don't wanna to do too much. I gotta be honest, I typically don't use this type of blush. I am a powder blush kind of girl, so kind of don't know what I'm doing, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to apply a little bit of product and blend it out. Okay, so I have applied a little bit of that blush, and I've gone ahead and blended it out. And what we're seeing is just a little wash of color, like just enough that you can kind of see that it's there. I am actually going to put a little bit more on because I just want it to show just a little bit more. I hope I'm not gonna be overdoing it just like that. So as you can see, what we have here is a really nice kind of wash of, not even a wash of color, a really nice kind of tint is what I would call it. If there's a tint to my cheeks now, I wanted to try to put a little bit of this on my eyelids actually just so it can kind of tie everything together uh, with add a little bit of a wash of color here and make it all look a little bit more cohesive i really like that that's really pretty i like that a lot it's like so subtle but definitely there it's super pretty nice i like that a lot i feel like it, it such a simple addition, but I feel like it did kind of um, pull things together. So I really like that on my eyes. That's nice. We're going to be trying out their Voluminizing Pomade and their Lengthening Mascara. This brow pomade from Merit is called Brow 1980. The shade that I got is brown. This is what the packaging is looking like. I definitely opened it upside down. Don't judge me. It's got a good amount of product on it. Ooh, and I don't typically use this type of brow product too, so bear with me. We're just gonna try it out. And I'm just brushing up these brows. I've added a little bit of the, of the brow pomade I personally am the type that really likes some shape to my brows, so I'm not the hugest fan of this, but I get it um, for the look, the natural look, just kind of throw it on and go. But of course, not my favorite brows, but this is what we got. Okay, so the next product we're going to try on is their Lengthening Mascara. It is called Clean Lash, and I got it in perfect black. This is really nice. Nice. This is very nice packaging. It's very nice. Super nice and super sleek. We've got our gold lid here. My camera is dying. Okay. Okay, so this is with one coat on. This is with nothing on my lashes and I can definitely see a difference. I am going to go in with another coat on each lash. Okay. I think so far the mascara might be my favorite product. Um, it did a really, really good job. It definitely does enough and I like it. Okay. So I have to say, I'm liking what I see so far. We've got just one more product that we're gonna try out. This is their Tinted Lip Oil, and it is in the shade Marrakech. Okay. 
So when you hear oil, you don't expect that much, or I didn't expect um, that much color. And it is pretty, pretty pigmented. Mm. And it feels really, really nice on the lips. And it's just enough color. This is so pretty and so natural. The perfect amount of lip color, I feel, for a natural look. It looks really pretty to me. Pulled everything together. I like it. I feel like I look great. I look I look really nice. I think that the only part of my look that I'm not like super crazy about is my brows, but that's just because I'm kind of particular about my brows and because they haven't been groomed in a while. So like their natural state right now is kind of a hot mess. So we're gonna ignore that part of it. But in general though, this is what we got. This is the final look with all of those products applied and only those products applied. I am sure that I could do more build this up with some other products just all of those other things to kind of build up the look but again that's not the point of this i feel like this is so pretty so natural and pretty impressive i, I personally say that this is is pretty impressive i really like it i really like it let me know what you guys think down in the comment section but i think this looks really nice okay you guys i just went in um, with a little bit of this eyebrow pencil just so I could give my eyebrows a little bit more shape um, that's probably the only thing that I'm not like crazy about from this look is the brows but I think that's also because I don't typically use that kind of a brow product so I'm not used to it but I like this a little bit better okay so that was it this is the finished look just to give you my final thoughts on these products I like them i personally really like them i feel like it gave me a very natural look but definitely improved my appearance this is enough for me to be comfortable with running out really quick to on a store run hopping on the camera for a conference call this is it like this is a very nice everyday type of look i feel like i look very pretty but not doing the most so for me, this found that sweet spot and I could definitely see myself reaching for these products again. Let me know down in the comment section, have you tried Merit Beauty products? Um, and if you haven't, do you plan on trying them? I personally really like them. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button before you all take off today. But that is all. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.